All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another stream. This time around, we'll be going over some of my tournament replays from the first and second black tournament. Maybe, I'd, probably not, but maybe we're gonna also gonna play a game or two. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go over some games of the first black tournament if I can find them. First, let's take a look at the third match against the General Boulanger in the. F who? Oh no, this is. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. They're all from the. They're all from the last. Hold up, this is gonna be. This may be an. An issue. Ooh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Okay, this works, this works. There we go, okay. Okay, usually the game tends to fuck up. Or OBS tends to fuck up with... Uh, with loading or, or replays. That's not even a huge thing. It's just uh, the loading all the replays. That require a different executable. Then open a different executable. And thus it's not the same... Uh... Not the same window that OBS thinks it should capture. But I didn't expect it. But I completely forgot about the patch and I didn't realize that it would fuck over previous replays. Okay, so this was the first best of three, th last match, third, or the first best of three, third game against General. Where we are, I am playing Entente and he's playing DGC Mechanized. I believe, if I remember correctly, his basic idea was to not do one centralized push, but keep pressure up over effectively the whole map. Which, spoiler alert, worked pretty well. But I haven't really taken a closer look over really all of the replays. So let's let's try to do that. No, is this does the sound work? Yeah, okay, it does. Okay, it does. All right. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. Let's see. Those are probably. Uh, oh wait, wait. Hello, hello. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, I see. I have to use different. Bot key to to check unit information now because of what the fuck, Eugen. Um, yeah, pushing them very aggressively here. Firstly, not a fan of using a very cunning at your first unit. It does have only eight armor, but it did work out. So, yeah, he he kind of he forgot about these units for a short bit. I think fast moving them here and then letting them stand there for for a half minute didn't really. Didn't really make a difference though. Lamon coming in a bit too late. Wouldn't really have mattered anyways. I'm now rerouting my units here because I think that I thought that he was like doing a main push here, but he still has a good amount of stuff here, and that single like Aperota squad won't really do much against Mider and Amex 13. Especially of course if he can spot that. I was afraid of a fast push of oh they were standing there on purpose. Interesting. Afraid of a fast push up up to alpha. Okay. Okay. That that, that would explain that. Whereas when is yeah, I mean you're not wrong. I mean I know it's tongue in cheek, but I think such an aggressive push I'm probably wouldn't really do in a tournament game unless maybe not, at least not with this deck I would maybe possibly do it with something like Baltic but 
most likely not with Entente. Although I might have... The, I think the only thing that I could think of is sending like one or two squads there in wheels or maybe a helo drop. Mainly for slowing him down and harassing him a bit, but not really as a main push. Go, Malinutka, go. Um, but yeah, I actually forgot really how, how, how that went completely here. So, M84 is finally moving into a position where they probably can do something. Conquers M misses the Kepper Day 2 for the second time. It shot once earlier. These proletariat get absolutely murdered by the Stotrippen and the YPRs. Those elite Stotrippen surely doing a lot of work. We're canning wrecking the Leca Perota because I think I I believe, or if I had a guess, they were obviously in this building before. I guess I assumed that he wouldn't have line of sight on here. I didn't even I don't know if I spotted all this already. I must have though. Either it was Miss Micro or just playing a bad mistake. I missed once, but still kill it. I'm at 17 doing nice work. And now that these M84As are here, my defense is, my defense here is pretty weak and Single Leopard and with this infantry coming up should probably be able to deal with this fairly effectively. These Mehrani Savannah, while they're not bad, without the help of their IFVs, they're gonna have troubles even against five pointers like these. Super Gallop, I think I'm going for the Gephardt. I am, I get it. Allowing my MS17 in theory to do more work, but it's empty now. And also no no other MI17 coming in. 84A is now rerouting into this forest. I remember. I'm, I'm, I'll be losing a lot of M84As here. Polo missing one of the Malibu guns, but hitting again. It's, it's quite a nice unit. 24 AP, 3 front armor and only 35 points. At these longer ranges, it can easily tank a shot of any, nearly any medium tank. So that, is, that is really nice. Here the weakness of the Mechani Savannah with their Mediocre anti tank weapon, but then again, what can you really expect at 10 points with an MG3? Grenadiers, though, are outnumbering the Machine Savannah, but oh yeah, I have an M84A in here, and these 84As actually have line of sight there. Um, I definitely should have tried to get a Rican up here, I think, but I guess I just didn't want to spend the points since this side wasn't looking very good. Get up yes now up since I had the gallop. Lost my Leica Perota here. My 17 coming back after resupplying. Amen. Not really doing much stunning them, but not doing any damage. I think the main reason why I used them at, at this point, even though I wasn't pushing up, since generally you want to use MRS like this when the opponent is pushing up. Also, didn't spot the KWS because my only AA was here. And the Sava has only good air detection and not very good, so I didn't have line of sight to that. So which is why I send it out and probably lose Actually I think I might have gotten really lucky and not lose it here. Anyways, the reason why I used the plowman here, even though I wasn't pushing up, is just to stop him from pushing or make him you know just panic his units and then make him be like oh i don't want to push up with panic units or i mean there's obviously always a small chance that i actually kill or deal damage or something uh yeah no i did i do lose it actually okay so i do push up here which i think i actually get in here but i can't really hold it Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to get into this building, because then I'll just expose myself to all the fire support here. Which I obviously don't want. Plumman coming in once again, really doing a nice job at Pang in the King. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to... Never mind. <laughs> These PvPs are so ridiculous. And here I do not lose. Yeah, yeah, he just lost line of sight because I killed the infantry squad here, so the Milan 2 couldn't continue firing, I believe. Now I thought, okay, maybe I can push up now, but I think, yeah, it's not, I should have not tried to do that and stay defensively. First piece, Ryan, coming in, snapping my A because I was way too aggressive with it. The, the escort wasn't really a huge threat, so I should have just kept it in here, but obviously hindsight is 20-20. And uh, I don't know why I keep pushing up with these. Using a lot of units unnecessarily here, should have kept all of these back. At, at to repair them. 
escort allowing him to spot my 84A in and kill it with the peace run, double tapping, unfortunate. Oh, there was a second one coming up even in case this one didn't kill it. So probably <laughs> nearly guaranteed loss. It just wasn't a useless bug, by the way, that they fixed. It was quite a ridiculous and literally game-breaking bug. In any case, um, Ryan just circling around, and basically, th this is this is really bad. On a map like this, or me, who is who is player style is obviously very centered around M84 A's. Peace runs are basically my biggest enemies. They're very effective at dealing with these. So having him have the air superiority while the map looks like this is obviously horrible, right? If I can stay in a very defensive position and win off of that, then it's workable, but not when I, I will have to push. I will have to push him at least out of here and probably still if I unless I can uh, I, I can keep hold of this, I, even then I still I still need him I still need to get at least a foothold in here, so that is that is a huge issue. Maybe should have bought a never M1 T earlier. Maybe should have gotten like two L 19s Right, I, I cancelled the never M1 T and gotten the L nineteen. But in any case, I didn't handle this ideally. Also, way too slow with reinforcing and repairing these M eighty four A's. Bought another Prime because this one is empty. Could have just sent this back to the farm and bought a supply drug instead. Definitely shouldn't have done that. Using an Isvidyarch because I forgot I sent it. Or actually not. I mean, I will lose it, but... Peace run missing the Isvidyarch, but still losing it, of course. Forgot that I sent it there. And just, this is not what you want. Have it, losing this is one thing, but losing this while the opponent has control over this is even worse. Of course, he doesn't really have a lot here, but I don't know that. And... Um, that is that is the crux here. KWS. I did get his KWS, but he the one crucial Rodin shot hits. So Rodin is basically a blue for equivalent of the OSI AK. Obviously not as mobile. Obviously only five HP, uh, HE, but cheap and quite accurate with a with an okay range. Peace run double tapping the other M84A quite unfortunate. Now this is very interesting, not a plane you see very often. This is a classic bomber. It's pretty cheap, five bombs, but pretty low ECM. I don't think it did too much. I kill it and it doesn't even deal damage. I think, oh my god, hold up. It crashed on this M113 forcing it, or like, or like panicking it. It didn't kill, it was only one, right? Yeah, okay, it wasn't a double stack. Still kind of hilarious, dealing eight damage to the M113. Most people think I just upset that, uh, or like mostly, well I think it's a combination of one people not understanding what the actual bug was, so they may have thought that this was a minor bug, but it was an actual game breaking bug, which many probably don't really know. And then of course, yes, the fact that it basically, it basically means that Mac and Linux versions can't play with Windows anymore, obviously annoys these affected players quite a bit, which is understandable, but I think it's probably better to lose that quote-unquote lose that small part of the player base while saving the majority from a literally game or not literally but a game breaking bug that absolutely fucks up the game. It's yeah. I mean of course I I can understand that the Mac and Linux players are upset but I can also understand you to not investing so much into saving those few players when they won't really generate them any significant amount of money anymore right now this is basically I think this is more or less a stalemate now or not a stalemate but I think this is basically the status quo until the end and he just continues bullying me with the peace runs because I'm just not able to deal with them, not with his air superiority. I killed one KWS and here it 
didn't get anything done trying to push up here but I'll probably soon lose this 84 again to something like a peace shrine and this was very unfortunate pulling up with the 84 again trying to kill this not spotting it pulling back and then it gets sun of sight onto a proletary while the 84 an loses I know sight into the smoke it's a bit frustrating peace shrine Actually, not having line of sight. Losing the L17 to a KWS. Another ace have gone without doing anything. Now deciding to buy another M1T, which I should have done much earlier. Yeah, having no control over this in the long run isn't really a huge deal. I think it is a lot more important to focus on this and holding that. Because getting a foothold in here for a CV, which I would need to get a plus one. Assuming I have control over golf and foxtrot, um, isn't as hard as like getting full control over golf, which I obviously need. Oh, did... yeah, I understand it is stupid with the with the replay system. You don't really need that much time to go back to an older replay system here either, or to the previous thing. It's just that I wanted to make sure it works with OBS. Yeah, I, I think it. I think the problem from my side here comes down to two things. One, sacrificing units unnecessarily here. I should have just completely stay defensive as possible, minimize my losses, and not caring about getting a foothold in the early game. Secondly, just my AA game was horrible. Moving out the server out in the open and not investing into a never M1T early enough. I should have tried to play the long game because getting a plus two or even three tick here is pretty hard on this map. So I shouldn't have been shouldn't have worried about sacrificing some early points or conquest points in and getting a never instead. Restarting I mean yeah kind of but it's workable. It's not the worst thing out there. Losing another M1 A M M eighty four AN without even killing a peace shrine. Just just so inefficient. I mean I, I do push back in here. Like I said, it isn't really too hard in a late game, but I just lose tanks left and right. It's yeah. Those peace runs were definitely the biggest issue. In this game I wish I had the OSA AK in the stack. The reason I've put in the never, even though in the past I've mostly used OSAs, was to deal more effectively with the uh, US and such, right? A10s, Ravens, shit like that. Right, and now this is just a bully. Nice, make 29 strike actually here. Another, another thing I could have done is maybe invest into a bomber earlier, since the only thing he had was a Gepper. And once I kill that, maybe I could have bullied him with bombers a bit. I lost my never here. It's just going downhill. Foxtrot is uh, not Foxtrot. Pettyfield can be. Pettyfield is one of those maps that if you play a lot in this area, air superiority can do so much work for you. Which is even more reason why I should have. I invested a lot more into AA, like even before like starting the game just um, when it comes to my opening and such, should have thought of that from the get-go of the game. Not only once I started losing my tanks. Yeah, KD wasn't even that hard, but uh, that, that uneven, but I think the the battlefield shows a different different view. You, you're really hesitant to buy AA pieces while I understand there are ways at points if the enemy doesn't fly over a sector. But after the enemy spends on air, what is your process to buy? How do, that's a good question. Um, Yes, I am very hesitant, hesitant about buying AA pieces. Usually too hesitant, or not rarely too hesitant. Um, well, there's two things. One, how many helicopters, or three things. How many helicopters does the opponent use? How many planes? And who am I playing against? Some people who are, who and what deck. Hold on.
I have returned. Um, back to the question about buying AA. Well, again, if I have AA on the field and I see my opponent investing into a lot of planes or or planes that are tough to kill, my I think my AA is not suitable enough. I'll buy more AA. Same with helicopters. I mean, it's rather simple, right? And then, of course, when it comes to opening with anti-air, he had to put the cat out. <laughs> Shut up. And when it comes to opening with AA, it depends on who I'm playing against and should I know what deck. If I'm playing against, let's say, I'm Putin 1 at 7 and he's playing Soviets, I will expect a lot of MI8 MTVs. I might even expect some planes in the openers, in which, I, which makes me buy more AA, of course. And AA includes stuff like LSTRs and air recoils. If you see me play Baltic Front or Eastern Lock, I might not buy a lot or even even less traditional anti-air because I have anti-air in forms of these infantry squads. Um, but yeah, it's when to buy more AA is there's not much more that I can say other than you know if you can't deal with the any enemy planes or helicopters eff effectively buy more. That's the only broad thing that I can say is sometimes it's just a very case-by-case -case basis. Sometimes it's also map dependent or you just have to move your AA around but not necessarily buy more. Yeah. In any case, this is game one against General Boulanger in the second best of three. The uh, In the first best of three, the, game, the first two games were I think not that interesting. Um, this one <laughs> Had quite a moment in here. This was me playing Blue Mechanized and General playing Anton Darmord. And uh, I believe he was uh, quite su or, or a bit surprised to see me play this map or choose me, choose to see me, to see me choose, uh, Jesus, to play the, uh, this deck on this map. Mechanized usually being. Yes, F18. Mechanized obviously being usually a or traditionally seen or very often seen as a infantry grind deck, mostly played on especially very forest e maps, like hell in a very small place, or maps with a lot of towns, which I guess once in harbor would be one, but in rank in a rank pool or tournament pool, you don't really see a lot of Maps that are incredibly town dependent. I think the biggest one would probably be Punch Bowl. In any case, but of course, Mech also offers more than just grinding infantry. It offers infantry veterans and infantry slots, which is very crucial here because I will have access to those high veterancy Chumat squads. And of course, me being mixed blue means I not only have I also have access to a lot of different unit choices, including AMX-10 and the like. Gazelle Hot with a very small size, making this Sava miss. Let me just quickly check some messages. Okay. Which is nice, because that cannon is cool. So he's clearly focused around, at least for the, for the start, just sponge a lot of damage with those reservists, right? Cheap fodder. Heavy horse for the you know tank killing mainly K ones of course very good tank against K ones and of course T thirty four Bs for some cheap 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 fire support. My plan was to basically for one get a town with the help of wild infantry in forms of fast camps together and aim extends to stop any. Well, I think I had one aim extend since he was playing armored. I didn't really need to fear. Maybe I had no AMX 10? I don't remember. In any case, I would expect her to get the town early on. And uh, with K1s as fire support and all these high armor F113s. Early kerners, because those viewers were together. Got some nice damage here. And the second one, you may have been wondering where was that second explosion, right? There's his first explosion, but where is the second one, right? Well, it directly hit this helicopter. Which is kind of hilarious. And obviously instantly killed it, but I think if it had to hit the ground close enough, it probably would have killed one of these V-Horse. I don't know which one is more damaged. You may have actually you may actually be able to see it on the model. This one looks a bit damaged. Yeah, it's this one that is on one HP. So had I not directly hit this helicopter, there's a good chance I would have actually killed that one V-Horse, which 
would have been a big deal. So <laughs> this helicopter saved his or his life, prob probably. Him microing his radar A also led to him not shooting at it with the Coop M4, and also not and also me not knowing that he had one. But yeah, I obviously get the initial tower grab. Chumat's gonna be incredibly important here because of so much open field. However, his smoke micro, as you will see later on, is incredibly good. So the Chumats take a while until they actually get a lot of value. Until I get a lot of value out of them. I don't fully remember what went on here. If the Hachiki or Shiki got a shot on this, but in any case. This is gonna be the main thing. I try to be aggressive with the K1s because I obviously saw the V-Horse get shot at and get panicked by the Kurnos. But then I'll I'll eventually stop pushing. There there we go, right? Now, yeah, that, now I decide to fast move, but last second I decide to pull back. Because now he has Temer and Savannah and the BVP is here too. To sponge for the Vihor. And the Vihor is already worried again because it's, it's elite, so it recovers faster from the panicked state than you know your normal veterancy tanks. Buying a Hera here because I killed his drop. He wants obviously to see what killed that drop. Jesus Christ, can I? Sorry for that. And finally unloaded those Chumats. I didn't really put one into the town yet because for one I didn't want to move, move, maneuver these around and two there's a good chance that he does have line of sight onto the town once they fire since there's very often like a sneaky scout up here and it'll die instantly. I probably still should have put one maybe here or some or maybe in this bush, you know. One missing, but even even killing and forcing to forcing him to unload his uh, from his five pointers is kind of useful. Here, the Bruskomnichis did spot one squad, or maybe it wasn't out in the open, right? But yeah, that's that's the danger here. Kern is coming in again, hits me with the Coop M4 once, hits me with the Coop M4 twice, something like 30% chance or something. Bit unlucky, but I also didn't get hit by the Saba in the opener. And it doesn't deal much. I mean, it deals damage and panics him, but it doesn't kill him, which was obviously my main target. But I still stop one of his attacks here, but sacrificing a hunt, one of the well, probably the strongest plane in my deck, or most capable plane in my deck for stopping one attack this early into the game, definitely not worth it. Try to kill those proletariat with the help of the Hun, and I believe I don't quite succeed. For one, I think he just focused fire on the Huns, and now these PBs come in to help. But at this range, I can't really deal with the Vihors using my K1s. Here, get around there with the MX7 and snipe his coop, which is nice. It has only one armor, so it gets one shot. So harassing him here is kind of nice. I didn't even realize that I sniped this transport with the drug squad in it. Very nice. Very, very nice. And of course, with four front armor, the header and the rocket pods won't really do much. I think it got so low from the from the T-55 that was here earlier. But yeah, now I bought an LRM. Excellent, stunning machine. The annoying, annoying thing on this map is you have to fire from this back here to, to fire here, because if you're at the FOB, you're within the minimum range, so that's, that's sometimes a bit annoying. Sun is Sava, but don't deal a lot of damage to his V-Horn, which is unfortunate. Chumat misses the Sava. It's quite unfortunate. Second Salvo from the same LRM. Actually hits well now. And panics him. Now I got a Chumat in the town. Chumat loses line of sight here, would have killed the V-Horn. Misses this V-Horn, wouldn't have killed it, but would have dealt a lot more damage. This Hachi Kyoshiki, however, <laughs> kills the Sava, so... But... A bit of literally hit and miss with all these 80 gems here, but they still deal a significant amount of damage and got a Sava kill, which is very good. This Jumat, however, is empty now. This Jumat did get spotted, like I said, by this Bruce Kumnichi squad. Get one shot on both of the Coop m I believe, hit. Again, not the highest of chances, but, you know, I do get punished for being so aggressive with my planes. Kill some VVPs here with the Jumat, but should definitely work on resupplying them. I only have two K1s on the field and he has three v horse and all of my Chumats, well except for this one, are out, which is obviously eh, not not nice. Oh, actually I do have a Chumat here as well. Should 
I should have should definitely micro them more so they don't shoot at the trend. Yeah, there we go. Turn them off because they kept shooting at OTs that then got popped by K1s anyways. Stunning him once again, but not even panicking those VHORs. Second salvo, however, will panic this one and that one, so that's nice. But it doesn't really fully incap uh, make them incapable, of course, not mentioning that there's one calm VHOR as well. Because having an autoloader and being on the lead, they will still be quite accurate. The main thing is that they will have a significantly longer aim time, which is not affected by whether you're autoloaded, what accuracy you have, or what weapon you, you are. It is solely affected by, well, the base set, and then, of course, your... Uh, your uh, status, meaning your whether you're panicked, shaken, or whatnot. Two gazelles coming in, but lose line of sight because of the smoke. Juma did get spotted by this Pruskunici, I presume, or maybe he fired positioned, but I think it must have been a Pruskunici since if he had fired, well, maybe it was fire position. I don't know for sure, but I think. Thank you. Good chance that they just did get spotted, which would be annoying. But this uh, resupply these finally. Saw that I would only pop five pointers. Doing some stuff with the Gazelle cannon. I did spot this uh, UAZ, which I didn't notice though, because I was busy somewhere somewhere else. Gazelle Hall doesn't really achieve anything though, or n nothing noticeable. And my infantry is dead. Um, he, he shot at them so many times with his tanks while never losing his V-Horns that, and then me never reinforcing it really, led to this position, which is bad. Um, I am using, I bought a second LRM, I don't know if I just bought it or a bit ago, and try to stun him, deal a bit of damage and stun those in, uh, infantry squads as well. And um, I'm now moving in together with his fire support, but these V-Horns are still massive issues. The Chumats have them kept somewhat in check, but it's mainly the LRMs, and my form is already less than halfway through. And we are not quite halfway through the game, so I will probably run into supply issues. He bought a Pivonka. The nice thing, actually, about the FOB situation here is that me not being able to fire from the FOB, since it's too far away, means I always have to fast move them to the FOB and shift fast move them back, meaning that as soon as they fire, they will, after they are done firing, they are they're gonna be moving to the fob, meaning that it's actually gonna be pretty hard for him to counter RT me. And with those 10 HE high accuracy shots, you know, one direct hit and they're dead. You know, one front armor, zero armor all around. Razman, more like noobman. Can't say you're wrong. But yeah. Okay, we shooting K1 shooting, getting rid of his infantry. Is a hot, but uh, yeah, it's just in the, for, at, the, at this point he really let me out. KD wise, I'm most certainly behind him at this point. He has still his three VRs left, I believe. Did I kill one of his VRs and miss it again? Am I? Am I blind? No, I did kill one of his one of his V horse, and I didn't even notice. Very well done, Rasman. Um, yeah, one of his V horse is dead, but I lost two uh, two Kurnasas. Lost a lot of supply, but this is not looking all too good. I am getting back into the town, which is nice and important for me. Uh, too much missing a shot on the V horse, but which is very crucial. Because me being a mech deck, I will rely on those trumats and I will rely on these positions and I will rely on flanking maneuvers or shooting into the side to deal with his V-horse by using K1s. So having this is, at least for my deck, in this matchup crucial. He doesn't care so much about the town. He mainly cares about the other stuff, so he, as long as I don't have infantry squads in the town or, or like recallist rifle squads. By the way, another miss, you know, would have killed it. Yeah, very cool Chumat. Um, as long as I don't have any gems in the town, which he effectively you know, gets rid of with the Pivonka, he doesn't really have to fear the whole lot. LRM's not getting quite there, damaging the Kub M4s, but not enough to kill them. So two ways of salvos, really. Or at least I should have done it when I'm doing an airplane strike, but... Yeah, basically wasted at this point. 
Although they <laughs> they do get forced into the town, which I believe later leads to them having line of sight issues. Which is why you never want to place your AA into towns. Because while forests don't block line of sight to planes, buildings most certainly do. Uh, I think at this point I will be losing quite some K1s because I keep engaging his V-Horse like an idiot. Sometimes because I'm too aggressive, aggressive and other times because I don't realize that he moved up his V-Horse into my K1s like here. But I do have high front armor so he will need quite some shots to kill them. And again decided to move it up for no reason. There's... Ooh, 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 I'm a bit too late, I'm sorry. So. But we can still see what happens here. First, a double missile kills this VR. And then, I just, I told it to go for this VR in just the last second that it shot its first missile into this M84 and the second one into this VR. Both side or rear shots, although it didn't matter on the M84. And I'm not sure if this VR was damaged. So I'm not sure if it really mattered here either, if it was side or front. But yeah. One Hornet Strike, two V-Horse and one M84 down, basically putting all the momentum back to me. Or maybe not back to me because all my K1s are damaged, but stopping his whole momentum, which is obviously crucial because this this was the moment where I was really starting to lose. It was looking not so great for me before, but it was cer certainly salvageable, but this is where it starts to completely turn around again. Lack over skill? Eh. Maybe. And you can see the Coupon Force, there they are. One stopped aiming. And yeah, I'm out early enough. So yeah, no tanks were left on the field here at the moment, except for this T-34V and his tanks V, of course. Obviously very, very horrible for him. So now it's so now I'm like, oh, I have to push back now, right? I have to push back, which is what I'm gonna work on. Get those four stacks of riflemen to get back into the town, repair those K1s, and then then push, push, push. Use the LRM because I know, I I, I think I saw that you that he had a UAC coming here, so I'm like, I can snipe it with an L, with LRM. And the LRMs don't really do much. They panic and damage the Zava, but it's no big issue really. But he immediately rebuys the Moderna and got an got an M84A. Too much snipes up, empty mortar, no big issue. I'm not sure if he's trying to snipe my CV or goes for my supply, but he's probably going for CVs. Doesn't really matter though, I have an Azerit. While it's obviously possible for him to kill it with his artillery, unless he has line of sight, and even if he had line of sight, it would take a while, but even without, it's gonna be <sighs> gonna take ages for him to, to kill it. Commandos easily deal with any infantry in this town here. His M84 AK never gets its weapons turned off, which is... Well, for one, it tells me where the CV is and what CV he has, which is obviously nice to know. Maybe he was going for the new Chumatsk mod. I don't think so, since those have 35 seconds aim time, so... It would be, unless it was a stationary Chumatsk what he went for, it would be... Uh, Quite hard to predict that, so maybe he went for like this and these as CV positions, if I had to guess. Right, there was one comment. You didn't have cluster, I did not have cluster, not in the form of artillery. For one, because cluster artillery is not available in mechanized. Secondly, not in the form of plane, because every deck code had to be sent in beforehand, and you couldn't change the deck, except with five units effectively that you also had to send in, and none of those were a cluster plane. Maybe I would have liked one, but in this matchup it wouldn't have helped. Cluster brains are most useful in forest E maps, because tanks are obviously slower in forests, meaning that they're harder to maneuver. And in these very open areas, coupled with the fact that Anton tanks or Yugoslavian tanks are quite fast, a cluster plane in this match, or even cluster artillery, but cluster plane would not have done much. And the HEMRS is just very useful because it just panics and stuns enemy units, tanks, infantry, whatever, which then allows you to, allows you to do strong pushes. Granted, though, offensively I haven't used it very well. I have used it defensively, okay. You know, stopped a couple of pushes. Was very crucial in the early game. Um, yeah.
It can obviously also be used for sniping and killing, but it's not its main use for the most part. Wish they had HC MLRs more for moral damage. I mean, that is its main its main use. I think the, my main issue is just that there's so much useless MLR systems. But then again, not every system should be as strong as something like the LRM. Artillery is already becoming more and more important and we don't want more of it really, I think. Trying to snap the Achtzachit again, hard to kill here with pure artillery. And now forcing him back to this menu in this position. Having access to this again is gonna be very nice because this can allow me to maneuver around with K1s with two mats in here, getting crossfires, but he's still making good use of smoke. Smoking this off and, and retreating into it. Still taking a good amount of damage. It's only gonna be chip damage against the Moderna with a 21 front armor versus a 21 AP on Chumats. It's still damage nonetheless, and of course you cannot afford to get side shot, which would be close to an, to a to a kill. Buying some M36 for, for <laughs> just for fire support. He's gonna he's still very light in here. He hasn't bought anything since the start, and I'm pretty sure I could very easily, now that I see this. Just straight up move up a, an Amex Sen, or maybe just an IFV here. The drug might spot it, but an Amex Sen probably wouldn't get spotted. Just moved up, attack moved up here and kill the kill the UAZ. But it's another M84 AK here. Because, I mean, he kind of has to. I wouldn't, you know, ignoring the timer, you probably wouldn't have bought it at this point, but since there's only seven minutes left, I'm ticking and I'm hedging Congress points. Yeah, he kind of has to. World well, 1090 M84As are obviously gonna be amazing, but I do have quite some units here, NTGMs, K1s, HQ, HQ, Horn coming in again, sniping the 84 AK, and you saw that maybe, I think it was the very first or the second missile here, basically stopped homing into the Hornet mid-air, because it, the Coupe M4 did lose line of sight because of a building. Only the later ones started to, to really home in, and none of them actually hit. Yeah, you don't want your AA in buildings. It's not a single alarm, it's actually two alarms. One, two. Yeah, and I even even bought the Mancat one to continue resupplying them since I ran out of out of fob. Hachikuchiki dealing with one of the BVPs gets killed. Now he, now this is this is this is a really really good play here. Use smoke use the smoke very aggressively to build up a corridor where you can move up his Moderna basically without getting bought by Chumats or the Hans that I have here, although the only Chumat is here, not in the town. And while I kill his infantry, the Moderna just keeps moving up and moving up, closing in on my CV. Maybe I should have gotten like a like a what's it called? Gazelle with the hot in there, but didn't. Bomber coming in, forcing me to reroute. Gets it actually down to to uh, to one HP. Or did the Moderna just fire? In any case, it's down to one HP, which is obviously bad. Okay, once continued continuing to move up, he moved his new M ninety four AK in here. Still not turning weapons off. But smoking enough. Hornet kills the Moderna. USC in here. But won't really do much against the Jisu Proletary won't do much against four riflemen, three K1s and two M1s. The Achtzerit here, this is the weirdest thing. The Achtzerit here. Wait, was it a different match? Maybe it was a different match. Oh no, I think now it's I think now it's happening. Watch out. MiG-29 bombing again. Here. My Achterit is not cap counter capping this anymore. Which only happens if it's dead or moving. It's clearly not dead yet. And it's clearly not moving. Now, because it's detracked. Now, what obviously can happen is if your CV is detracked, but you do give it a moving command, and even though it's not technically moving, it counts as if it was moving, meaning it can't cap anymore. However, I never gave this Achterit a moving command. So for some reason, and this has never happened to me, to me before, for some reason it's still not counter-capping. 
I know. I, I wonder if this has like I, I, the only thing that I that this this has to do with the napalm. The only thing I can think of is that the napalm is like chipping away damage. That maybe it's like technically between between zero and one HP or something, and still displays one HP of course. And for some reason, CVs can't cap in in that HP range. I don't know. It's it's incredibly weird, and I have no idea what causes it. If you can watch my live uh, video where I also am very confused about this. Auto move from fire? No, because it's detract. Unless, because I'm pretty sure that even if your if your detract unit is full of napalm, I'm pretty sure it can still cap. You know what? Let's test this after the game. Maybe it's just maybe it's simply because of the napalm. But I, I'm I'm very certain that I remember occasions of a detract CV sending a napalm but still capping. And it that. It does not have a move order, Mike. That's what I just said. It does not have a move order. Oh, you mean because of the fire? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Like, I'm pretty sure that I remember CVs being detracted in fire and still capping. Let's just test it out. M maybe I'm wrong, though. M1 Abrams side shots. M84. Big 29 coming in. I think here uh, it's not actually fully. Yet. Look at this! It's standing in fire and stunned. Now it's moving. I, I don't know. Let's just test this after this game. Alright, now I just roll over even counter cap here to get those extra CV points. Conquest points, I should say. And yeah. Okay, this is this is not of interest anymore. Let us let us test this. Let us test this. Okay, I need a deck. Test, 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 test. Hello. Can you capture war game, please? Hello, hello. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Do I have to restart Wargame? Alright, I will restart Wargame real quick. But I was... I was capturing a different executable when I... To restart OB no, you've gotta be shitting me. You've got no, I'm not gonna restart. No, I I, I did add a new game capture as well. So it um, there we go. No, it's working. It's working. Ha! Huh. It's working. Okay. Test. Take a track C V. Let's take the take this. And take a nail on plane. This is gonna be very, very simple what we're gonna do. Hey, don't make fun of me, okay? We're gonna do something very, very simple. Gonna get a bunch of warriors. And we're gonna drive them into alpha. And have them get detracted. And once they're getting detracted, we're gonna napalm them. How about that? <clears throat> Should be rather simple, right? How do you how did you get it back? I don't I I uh, Restarted war game and I checked my game capture source and I just you Now re-edit or, or rechanged war game until it works <laughs> Okay, okay, just drive through Let's drive through here Rough ground, it's not what I want Oh, and I want you to get retracted. Detract, I should say. Back in the mud, that's the wrong one. Come on. 
Oh yes, I hide my head out. Dude, this I, mean, I don't know if you have seen my video on on supply and such that I did like three months ago or something. It was also on this map. It took me ages to get a fucking detract detract unit because you know it obviously never happens when you want it to happen. There are fifty people watching you do this, and this is very cool. Come on, get detract, please get detract. Jesus Christ! This is this is this is what people tune into, right? uh, tune in for, right? Hello. <laughs> I'm just trying. What are you doing? I'm trying to get one of these fucking warriors detracted. <laughs> Come on, they're starting to run out of fuel. Why will you not get detracted, man? Why will you not get detracted? <laughs> Please. <sighs> my planes get detracted. My wheel units. This guy. Nope. Help, <laughs> self <laughs> incline. I don't think so. Look, look, this one's already... Oh, calm the fuck on, warriors. I don't have supply units to resupply you. This is... This is... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Please? This is the wrong crit. This is the wrong crit, my guys. Get the memes, get <laughs> okay, we need more CVs. We need more CVs and we need supply. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay. This is a track CV. I th this is tracked. And probably whatever. And I'll get some CV. Some some supply. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Is there is there a spawn with a bigger forest, maybe? Green mine? Let's, let's keep modified because we know the map. Yikes. What a what a what an epic what an what an isn't this an epic stream? Isn't this isn't this entertaining, huh? Alright, get these get these warriors out. Get these out. Get these sultans out. Get these out, alright. Right, let's not, not, not forget our supply. Watch one of them get detracted in the spawn. Alright. You are entertained? Glad to hear that. By your face. You know, if I can't entertain with anything else, at least I can entertain with something. So, you know, job's done. No, it's called Benny, right? Da, na, 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 na. Oh, that's what you're thinking of, right? I think. Right. Come on. Do CVs have like a lower detract chance? Chance sometimes. <laughs> oh, it was indeed right. Swear to God. No, don't camp. My pleasure. That's. There, 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 there. We got it. We got one. 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 Okay, you fell out of here. Okay, 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 okay. See, not capped. This is not capped because it's less than moving command, right? Let's wait until the arrows are out. Right. 
so we're not too late with the napalm. I, I press stop here. And alpha is capped. Alright, now let's see. Oof. Even before the phantoms are too slow, but I think we should be fine. Ooh, this is actually getting close. Oh, I might have to do this again, if I'm unlucky. No! Huh! Okay. You were right then. You were right. That is interesting. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. If it's detract and not, not don't doesn't have a move command, it will still uncap if it stands in fire. Or napalm, to be more precise. I'm always right. Can someone please press or type X to doubt? Okay, what, what's what's next on the replay? What shall we look at? Which one shall we to look at next? Uh, the other two games against General in that best of three worth. Let's take a look at the one on Highway. I'm interested in that one. Uh, where I got... Spoiler alert. Absolutely... Fucked. Okay, let's see. We have to make this work again. There we go. Bam, I'm gone. Okay. Okay. I haven't. I think I haven't even taken a look at this replay. I'm going to this more or less fresh, and I don't fully remember what happened even, like what my decision making was. What's going on with Putin? He's busy playing World of Tanks, <laughs> like me. Okay then. So, Eurocore versus Eurocore. I start with the cannon and the tiger. Cannon to basically sponge any AA missiles, should he start with his own tiger, which he does, although it's a tiger hype. Panther with Commandos Para on each side. Not Commandos Para, Commando Marines. I think I fuck up with the cannon here, yes I do. Basically allowing him to trade with me, which is horrible. Had I kept the cannon with the tiger, I probably would have been able to kill the tiger and then kill this panther. So that was, I, I think the reason why this happened was that I didn't spot his tiger since it had stealth. Only spot this panther and this panther. So I sent one, I sent a cannon away from my tiger, and that was, that was the mistake here. The tiger could have survived had I not done that, and had the tiger survived, there's a good chance I would have killed this panther, or at least damaged, potentially killed the commandos, commander marines inside there. So that was, that was a big, 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 big mistake. Um, to see how well this Gazak cannon, quote unquote, meat shield can work better, uh, look at the 2v2 with Putin in the turn last tournament match, where it worked out decently well. So the cannon gets obviously killed, two MX tens versus two, one hit on each side, one kill on each side. But this one is shaken and this one is worried. This is unfair. He hits and I miss. No! And I die. Leclerc here, whereas he's focused on this side. I wasn't really scared of this because usually when you get pushed out here, you have a relatively easy time to get back in. Um, because this is the way this works is that pushing up here is usually a lot easier because rarely will you use this force, and once you have this, you have s control over some part of this upper. Plateau, right? Allowing you to much more easily also reinforce from here. Whereas when you lose this here, you have basically only this avenue and then this long way, either coming from this spawn here or taking this bridge, which is obviously very dangerous. So getting back into Charlie, should I lose it, is not nearly as hard as, you know, from the other side getting back into golf. So I was like, all right, I can basically give it up, should he decide to push here, which he does, and then just, you know, push even harder here, in theory. As you may know, this didn't really work in practice. Now here I basically try to, you know, kill his stuff with the Kasaipi and the Panther, have the Kasaipi, you know, have them together deal or like deal with this, but then he buys another hap and just kills my helicopters. So yeah, another bad play on my part. And then Yeah, he I think he probably also kills this. No, he, he runs away. But yeah, having Losing this, of course, is also annoying because it didn't even cost him much. Because he still has a panther, he still has damage at full HP, so... Yeah, that wasn't very good on my part. 
MX32 or KBZ70. As Mike said, neither. They're both not particularly good. Use the Leopard 2A1. And if you if if you really had to choose between those two, then like no other choice, then I guess Kyler is a better choice. Keep in mind that none of the AMXs can shoot can shoot main gun and auto cannon at the same time. Only the Kyler can from these tank choices. Not sure what I killed with the Kasapi here. In hindsight. No, I couldn't have been more aggressive. There's the gun part here, but yeah, I noticed that this is... He's pushing here, so I'm trying to be more aggressive here, obviously. Maybe should should move up with these a bit more as well. I accidentally load one of my Legion into the vamp here. The MX in here. But I'm, I'm also missing the fodder. Or like, I'm too slow with my fodder, being these dressers. There's a peace run. Me a Jaguar. I believe I did fire the Gephardt, but I missed. Or maybe he or maybe he uh, he baited me. Either either or maybe he evaced early on. I don't remember. In any case, I didn't kill the Gephardt, obviously, which I wanted to, and then do some damage with the Kasaipi, I believe. At least that was the plan. And then my attack here unfortunately fails. I can't make use of the Leclerc's. My fire support dies and then my infantry dies, so he successfully defends this with significantly less points here than what I have, which is obviously really, really bad, because I have lost this, which again, in theory, isn't a big deal, but it is if I can't make use of my points here, which is the case in my case. Uh, Milan 3 somehow misses to miss this Amex then. Milan's do what Milan's gotta do. Bought a tiger here, I think he will try to dive me. Fails. I landed and then started flying again, meaning that my rigs will just miss, so that was if you allow me to toot my own horn here. Well, I uh, played well. He buys a 2f5 here, and uh, I'm just way too slow with my reinforcements. Instead, decided to, decide to focus on here, which maybe I shouldn't have. And maybe I should have just completely invested into here and just try to just hold his forces off with, with, with his tiger down or something. And and yeah, pump these amex sense and such into mid and just get, try work on getting this. So I can push, put, pro, put, can put pressure onto his second spawn without without like, having to get it, of course, but having to force him to be in an awkward position with units and and you know being in a defensive position myself. Well, I can work on then getting this back. But yeah, deciding to um, I had a gazelle cannon here, trying to snipe the CV here, which. Unluckily, I won't get it. It has only 5 HP, so I don't even need a direct hit, you know, to kill it. And he even just bought a Mars, so <laughs> if I was very lucky, I could have also gotten a Mars, but I kill neither, which is a bit unfortunate. Mars is also a very strange choice, you don't see that very often. Rasman, you should do a guide on how to play this map properly and punch bow. I don't maybe I'm I'm I have something in terms of map guides that I never finished, but that's not in video form. I probably should finish it at some point. But uh, video map guides would probably honestly just take too long. Just see what I do and that's what you shouldn't do. Hey yo but no seriously, I don't know. I don't think I could really do video map guides very well. I don't know. It's just also very, very time intensive, I feel, to do it, at least to do it well, and not like a half-assed video on the fly. In any case. And, but yeah, I never really make use of my points here very well, very cost inefficient, and gave him this for free, and now allowed him to reinforce here. So, uh, the, I mean, I'm just in a horrible position. I have no control over Echo. I have... The, the only thing that... I have really, which I shouldn't have if the map was equally divided, is this town. I have basically the control over delta that you have if this was equal, unless I guess maybe this Legion 90. I have this command of power moved up, but I completely lost Charlie and I completely lost, let's call it my half of Echo. So yeah, I'm in a very, very bad position. I have some nice planes and I have an error amount. He has his own KWS and I kill his Gephardt, I believe, here. 
Yes, the Gepard is dead. Uh, I believe he fails to kill my Peace Run if I'm not wrong, but I let this Jaguar out too long and he kills it with his Peace Run. Now he has his own 2A5, basically negating my Leclerc. Mars firing again. Mars hasn't really done a whole lot of work for him. It's just very... It's quite inconsistent. Turn off my weapons because he has his piece run up and I don't want it to reveal itself. Getting detracted, of course. I do have the Mankati nearby though, so of course if you repair or refill ammo, it will also he quote unquote heal, or rather repair critical hits. Get lucky here with the piece run by not getting hit by even a single of these 80 gems, which, which would have obviously killed a Crotar. Um, slowly but surely I have killed some of his units here and I think the Tiger in theory could of course now get rid of everything else um, but still e even if I get Charlie back here he still has Echo which is tough to deal with from my position and the Delta but it is it is still manageable from this perspective of course from my perspective maybe not so much but at the same time he also has reinforcements come up coming up of course Oopsie, sorry for that. I am back. Uh, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, just from the perspective that I was in, it wasn't looking very great. And even even this year I can lose fairly quickly. He's Again, he still has his 2 ff and I have my Leclerc, so we're kind of even here. And a single Luggy Peace Run can make me lose my Leclerc. And I think he manages to snipe my tiger here. I already lost one tiger, and I only have two in his tank, so this is my last tiger. Losing this is would be incredibly crucial, and yeah. I landed the tiger, I had it low, hovering low, because I obviously didn't want to get killed by his planes. So what what does he in response? He move up, moves up with his tiger hub, killing my tiger. And this this is this is actually huge. Losing the tiger in the opening, while obviously being bad for me was bad but this was huge actually even more so now looking at it because having this tiger if it hadn't died i could have gotten rid of this stuff or at least a leopard and maybe one of the squads good chance that i maybe would have missed this one and that would have allowed me and then obviously check the rest of charlie in a way depending on how aggressive i would have been and that would have allowed me to get fairly comfortably back into this without having to invest a lot more points while in theory still having the tiger, but losing this tiger now, quite a big deal. Again, one of the things why in hindsight I would have liked to have the tiger down with it to get a third one. So yeah, that's 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 a, that's a big big blow, and very well played by him because he he knew that I was gonna land or hover low, low and then just attack with the tiger because if I want to attack the tiger, uh, evade the tiger of course I would have had to move back and then he could have killed me with his planes so we're once again in this situation where Charlie is a big problem for me But at this point we're just chipping damage away from each other here in mid, losing some infantry HP, but that's really all that is happening. Meanwhile he's focusing more on here, I think probably again to divert forces on my side away from, from mid, while also of course continuing to keep his foothold down here. 
I think I think with this run I actually tried to snipe the Gephardt and didn't go for the Martyr but lost Son of Sight in the last seconds. Have, sniping the Gephardt of course would have allowed me to be more aggressive with helicopters. I believe I still have the Gazelle hot in the stack so that could have done some damage there. I did kill two of his planes here, I believe it was a KWS and a Peace Shrine or two Peace Shrines. I don't fully remember so that was, that was kind of nice. <clears throat> but it still makes me be in a not so great position. We basically buy CVs at identical times, he a bit earlier with the Amex 30, me with the Panther and the Infantry. I believe he also does not run seats, so I have my Ronins turned on and don't really bother about Radar AA Micro. Is the Velvet US Mac that? <laughs> also, oh no, that's a Commandos Para squad. Reinforcing this right side here. Panther will would have allowed him to deal with this infantry a lot better, but Krothal snipes. And I ramming this forest because I prepared to push up. His 205 was still in here, so it was undamaged. Mars doing what it's what it does best, meaning nothing. Panther now here. One of those marines get killed by those Amex 10 Ps. Not sure why he evac the yeah, he evac the KWS because he has a Rafael KWS and a piece right now, so that is that is a big bad for me. Mirage versus KWS, KWS. Defin definitely the better choice. Still not having hold of this. Eva came with all my planes again because he still has his stuff out. It, he was flying so far in the back that I didn't spot it anymore, so I was under the assumption that it evac'd. Now bring my planes out once again, couple with seed. I wanted to get rid of this leopard and then move up with my leopard 2 ones, with my IFVs, with my infantry. Gephardt unfortunately manages to kill this. I sniped his Gephardt actually with my 2A1, but the Leopard 2 got, I think, two shots onto my 2A1, which is obviously horrible. Amex 13 got one shot and two shots and kills me. <sighs> obviously very bad. Moving in with a Hot now, because I know that I killed his Gephardt, so maybe I can do some work. Well, still a, still a stalemate in mid. I got some position back in, in Golf, but I still don't have full control over it, which is the main thing. He's moving back with his Leopard 2, not allowing me to get anything done. And the Quantum Marines being an elite squad, obviously instantly killing the cannon, but not quick enough to also kill the Hot, which gets rid of both the CV and the Leopard 2, and we trade the planes. Which isn't too bad, but given that it's 12 minutes left, positioning wise, he's still in a much better position. It could be a little, a little bit too late. So now I resort to CV sniping. And I believe I once again fail here. I do guess correctly, but I just. My artillery just doesn't want to to actually kill. Look at how close this was. I got three HP damage done. Ugh, that that was it is a bit frustrating. So yeah, now I'm I'm gonna start to get desperate. Still trying to get back in here. I'm pretty sure this is still the same Commander Marine squad from the opening. Pepsi versus Coke, neither. I'm a Hydro homie. He's trying just sniping some stuff because I have no AA presence and the little ground presence that I had before is nearly diminished already. Jaguar coming in again but he has his scabbard turned off. Try to now, you know, get in with the hot then snipe it but it's not quite there. Gebhardt is still turned off and to, now I'm trying to snipe it with the peace shrine. Yeah, but... I did force his Iltis to move, but the tiger get, uh, catches me. Still have no control, and I, I, I guess I have this tiny spot here in Echo, but it's obviously not enough.
Hold up, there was still one moment that I got confused about because I was like sure I killed this 2A5 with my peace runs earlier. Lost the Leclerc to the 2A5 by a tank micro. And I believe I missed two of the four missiles here. I think I hit him twice. And But I'm, I was like, okay, he's dead now. But he wasn't actually dead. So I was very surprised later on when I saw it still being alive. I think this is now actually where I kill a CV because I'm gonna... I just tried it again. And wouldn't you believe it? All right, and their own way of dealing damage is trash. Yeah, if you want to snipe single units, it's bad. Um, but uh, it still can deal a reasonable amount of damage in like forests where you where there's a lot of infantry. But you you would never really want to if if you want if you have to kill stuff with it, you're desperate. And I was desperate. <laughs> Or, or either you're desperate or you just don't know what else to do with it and then you just use it for, you might as well use it for something, in which case, fine. But the main reason to use it and have it in a deck is always to deal, to deal, I hit once, what a joke, to deal morale damage. And, and that it's very good. Seven so HE on a big zone with luck. Or does not what do you mean seven inch? It's eleven inch. Mother two is being blind and getting slowly chipped off by these Amexes. Now the Pentagons just die. But yeah, just get completely overrun here near the end. I did some damage to these armored vehicles, but yeah, now look at what I have left on the field. <sighs> Nothing. It's random, yeah. For damaging, yes. For morale damage, it's consistent enough. Okay, these actually not even that one-sided, but I think I think it's clear. Who won if you look at what happened in the end? What is better, three BM21s or two LRMs? Two LRMs. BM21 is pretty, pretty bad. It is quite bad. Okay, okay. Well, do you work? Do you work? You do not work. Let's, let's restart Wargaming again. Alright, I'm actually getting a bit, on, a bit, a bit worn out when it comes to us like going over the replays see if one you you, you know you want to there we go i fixed it i'm a god catapult over them <laughs> I just saw, just saw your conversation with Sar in, in the salt on this card. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Oh, actually, yeah, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. The BM24s, the Chinese BM24s are great. The BM21s are not. But only the Chinese BM24s, because those are HE. The, the Napalm BM24s are absolute dog shit. So this dog shit. This dog shit. This also dog shit. But this amazing. Imagine if Eastern Block had access to this in HD form. It would be great. It would be amazing. Ugh. It would fit so well. It's like a low end, but I mean low quote unquote low end, but like it's not top of the top of the food chain when it comes to HE MLRSs. 
but it's still good. And that fits first. That's that fits perfectly into the flavor of Eastern Lock, which is basically Jack of all trades but master of none. But now it's just a worse Entente or a worse Baltic Front. God fucking damn it. Anyways, let's check out the replay against Nick on Mudfight from the tournament. Ugh, gotta do this again. Oh, no, it just. There we go. Classic BM21, I mean. I would say that three of those are maybe comparable to one. Uh, to one LRM, maybe. Alright, this was this was quite a match. Obligatory deals you right out of the way. This was just wow. It was one of the craziest matches I ever played. So obviously Nick Man, Blue Dragons, me Eurocore. Nick with his epic Things. So here, I don't know why I didn't expect this or why I didn't see it coming, but uh, my thought process was effectively, hey, I have Amex sense, I get a town for free in the opener as long as I deny Cobras and such. What does Nick do? Well, he smokes off my Amex sense and just drives into the dump with more infantry than I have. Hmm, very smart. So this is obviously preempt the smoke for my Leclerc. Very obvious, nothing special. Ninja, as I expected, which is why I didn't start with a tiger. Misses two of the four shots because Gazelle is tiny as fuck. Gratal doesn't get quite in range in to one shot this thing. But here's the smoke blocking my MX tense. Kinda. Yeah, and he just drives into the side. And moves in his shit. And I have two Legion Squads versus his two Tokyonza, two Doren, and fucking Grenade Launcher Fire Support. And when it comes to like direct fire support, there was like that one thing that Eurocore is just bad. Direct fire support is it's it doesn't have good options. It doesn't have anything like Grenade Launchers or M36s or amazing five pointers. And that's good, because if Eurocore had, it would be even stronger, which we don't want to. But that's one of the issues, which is why usually you don't want to give up the town. Of course, my other ones and the caves are gonna do some damage, but they're not very cost efficient. Especially if two months for just one shot your matters. Peace first coming in. I believe I micro this properly here. Yes, I do, and my KWS is here. Actually, did get shot once by his hog, and I didn't notice. But unluckily, I miss all of my A1, two of my A120 shots, and he gets out alive. Which is unfortunate, because he has only 20% ECM. No amazing 5 pointers. Yeah, I'm talking out of my ass. We, I have the AMX 13. I say nothing like this or, or M36. At this point, though, I'm just immediately, immediately reversing the Leclerc even further because I have only infantry left, I have no vehicles, my infantry is out in the open. They will just die, whether the Leclerc is here or not. And if they die, he can just straight drive through and just kill my Leclerc because it has a firing computer reset. Driving down with the Amex 10. I don't even remember. Do I kill his Hulk? I think I. Yeah, I do. Nice. Because that cannon actually ran out of ammo shooting at the M36. I believe it also killed the HMV with the Chumat squad. Yeah, obviously I lose this town. I still have my Leclerc though, so while I lost this, it is salvageable. And you know, I have the MX10 here for harassing, I kill those hawks, so it could have been worse. And I still have my KWS as well, so I just have to build up and then trade favorably against this Kumaru. So let's skip like the next two or three minutes of wound licking. I have him deal with the MX-10. Snipe some stuff here and there, move up through this forest because this is more or less safe. His uh, ninja spots my Crotal here, allowing his Peace Vessel to kill it, which is obviously very, very annoying. 
What is your opinion on taking card for service in a Eurocard deck? I find them useful at least in two versus two and them off. Perfectly fine. They have amazing five pointers, so they are great for sponging damage. If that's what you want, that's a very good choice. Chasseur, of course, also work. If you want some infantry, then can at least do some damage versus other infantry. But um, if you just want the meat shields, they are one of the best reserves in the game. So it's very, very valid choice, and I ran them myself in the past. In any case, back to this. I feel like clear I have some MX and peace. He misses with, with the Chumat, luckily for me. He tries to do some stuff here, but the Panzer Grand Squad so far is holding the shit off. But with the Kumaru and the H1, Shayo, he will move up with Sol Chung soon. LRM coming in again. Peace Ryan forcing the Kumaru back by giving it an optical failure. I have to watch out with my smoke marker here. He has his Chumat and the other Chumat, and I'm still on fast move at this point. And he misses. Alright, okay, this is not where my Leclerc dies just yet. <laughs> not yet, because there's also Peace Fasten coming in. I have a KWS though. And managed to kill it. Protal also manages to kill the ninja, which is great. KWS gets out alive. I legit forgot forgot some of these things. I'm not like faking the 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 uh, oh does it get out or not? Ooh, here we go, here we go. I move up to Leclerc because I'm an idiot and have the memory of a squirrel, so I already forgot that he had two, two Chumat squads here. So I move up, tank one to the front. Spot his Chumat here. And try to turn. And I'm too slow and get side shot and lost it like an absolute moron. Surprise, surprise. Rasmus loses his super heavy like an idiot. So why take Chasser over service for mid shield? Uh, like I said, um, sometimes you want your meat shields to still be able to somewhat five fight enemy infantry. And like Morpher said, yes, they're also faster. Um, but sometimes you not only want them for meat shields, you sometimes also want them to fill towns. And sometimes even just for infantry fighting, because coupled with the five pointer, assuming you don't have to fight against other vehicles, they have acceptable in infantry DPS. And reservists. While they're just as good effectively for taking damage, because they have just as much HP, they're basically worthless against infantry. What is better, two Chumats or <laughs> MD4 AM plus HT40? Ah, <laughs> uh, what a nice, what a nice meme, but uh, yeah. His, 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 his uh, Kumaru still has an optical failure, so I still continue with this assault, but I just still didn't learn and just lose my fire support to Chumats. Yeah, peace on camping. In. I'm, I'm not even sure what it snapped. Maybe like one of these dub APCs or something. But yeah, he also has, is in this town now, which is obviously mad. You never want to lose this town, um, but you, <laughs> losing this town is bad. But losing both towns is obviously even worse. So uh, yeah, I think at this point I was somewhat close to surrendering, but it was a tournament match, so I was like, might as well keep going. Lost. And, it did, and then I lost this piece run like an idiot because I didn't even get after fighting one shot. So I, yeah, not, not not looking great. He's taking with plus two as well. Had my Panzergrunts coming in here, but there's a KFE and it's gonna just murder those Panzergrunts, I believe. Oh, maybe not, but I think I will lose this town again. I, I think I might have gotten it back, back briefly, but yeah. This is coming in, sniping. The Tansem, his AA, so you know, at least something is happening. Legion took a shot on the KAFE but missed, I believe. I do get into this town, but I think I will lose it again soon. Humaru here. Low on fuel, which is important. <laughs> um, but yeah. Very, very bad spot for me to be in. A buy tiger because it's a high skill unit and together with the LRM. I try to get some stuff to work, but there's now two K1s. Peace run comes in, snipes one. The other peace run comes in, and I lost line of sight on the second K1, so. Fired on the K200, but didn't even hit once. Cobra deals with my pentagrams here, and I lose the town again. Moving over with the tiger to kill it, but it's, it's, it's just too slow.
and I even miss. I needed all four stingers to kill it. I missed the first two. How unlucky! But right. he's trying to repair his Kumaru, but since I just earlier shot at it with the LRM, it still has like this weird countdown timer where he still can't repair it. But now he is. But for some reason, he decides to not. Okay, now he gives it fuel as well. Okay. Repairing it and refilling it. I'm moving back my tiger because it's empty. But he still has access to the town, or owns the town, I guess. Occupies the town. Buys a ninja and gets AA again. Gets a Chumat into the town, which is obviously annoying. This, I knew his CV was there because he just, a minute ago, a minute or so ago, started to lift off with, with this UH1H there, from which I knew that his CV was somewhere in this area. So I sniped it, and I actually got a bit lucky there. This one comes in. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be crucial. Snipes the other K1, I believe. This is Kyumaru. From his perspective, in smoke, but the smoke is fading. I miss. There's also the peace run coming in. Gets a double tap. A tiger hits with the second hot too. So at this point, I'm like, oh shit, maybe I can come back. I still don't fully believe, but there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's basically my thought right there. He's, he's not ticking anymore since I killed one of his CVs. He has no Kyumaru left on the field at this point, unless he literally just bought one. He sniped his ninja and whatever ground unit was there, but nothing important. So I'm like, okay, okay. I got like clear on the way. He has at this point no tank on the field that I know of. So let's let's make this happen. Ignore this town for now because getting back into here is gonna be way too costly for me. I still have my LRM as well, and I also now know, well, he has no Chumats left, so the VAB T20s can do quite some work, because he has literally no vehicle in this area. When you have nothing to do with the VAB T20s, then, you know, they have some decent DPS. Try to do something with the Kasaipi, but at least I roughly know that there's nothing like in this vicinity. And I believe I still have the catch DS as well, two piece runs up. Time to make the comeback happen. It's now or never. He buys a new Kyumaru, but he, a, he will be lacking the support units. He has no infantry here in this area. He obviously has a bunch left here. He has, hold on, hold on, hold on. Five Sojung Su squads in this town doing nothing. I mean, of course, what, what does he want to do, right? He could maybe try to move them up here, but he'd, he'd get murdered by the MX-10. And this is just too dangerous, so... Yeah. Peace Ryan's being way too aggressive, and I lose two. Like an idiot. So that was great. I think I still have one left in the deck. I don't fully remember. But yeah, not looking too great when it comes to peace runs. However, I have this town back. I have some great positioning here. And he's not ticking anymore. So this is nice. So now, of course, I'm trying to find his CV because I want to tick. Too much here. Then do some stuff. He is. I think probing with this HMV or something. Obviously with no effect. Mario 2 is moving up. Can't find the CV. So in in a minute or so I will do an absolute galaxy brain play. Keeping the tiger in here, which if he spots it obviously keeps his Q model in check. I snipe his I think it was a Cobra. It's just a Black Hawk. UH6 so UH60P, transport from Tokyonza, Tokyonza. Someone said that I pronounced it wrong. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> from the South Korean Recon Squads, which will absolutely wreck my pentagrams. I also briefly flew around here in case Nick decided to sneakily place his CV like in this corner or something. So now I know, all right, CV isn't in here, it's not in there, it must be in here. So I'm doing an absolute galaxy brain move. And fire position this put this this spot here and kill it with the Panthers. Fuck, I'm so good. <laughs> In any case. So this is great. You know, stun his Kumaru, so it's basically worth it for the next minute or so. Because why not? I have nothing else to do with my LRM. Could have of course try to snipe his Charlie's V, but I have no idea where it could be, so why why bother? He's trying to snipe my supplies. 
But he is he's doing a lot of he's killing a lot of my infantry. My panzer guns are not getting a lot of stuff done because they often get outnumbered, so I have to be careful with that. No smoke up at the moment. But my Milan 3 gets a nasty, nasty, nasty side shot on this Q model. Because it was turned towards my nuclear or something. So another crucial blow to Nick, which will make my comeback even more successful. He still has access to, this, to the sound and he still has a Jumat squad here, but while he does have it, he currently doesn't have... It doesn't really give him much, right? If he was pushing Foxtrot, right, of course, that would be a different story because then I couldn't push down here really to stop his push, but his main push is still here, so this town at this point doesn't give him, doesn't give him much. So, which is why I just didn't bother getting, getting back into it. Because why would I? He doesn't counter cap Foxtrot, so I don't have to push him out here. And if I want to push Delta, I can kind of just ignore this, this area here where the Jumat would be a problem. I'm just monitoring this because I'm trying to maybe not kill but at least force the CV to move and maybe if, it, maybe if it's an infantry CV you know get something done. Just move up with the cannon try to spot it he has no AA. It does get killed by the short arrow but I believe I briefly spot it but he is moving it. But even if he's still moving it it's gonna be a few more conquest points for me. So that's better than nothing. But yeah, at this point, I was like, okay, he has some fire support here, and I don't know what else he has there. Until he moves the CV in here, I'm just gonna try to hold this forest. And either, you know, have him move into me, if he if he feels aggressive, in which case I'll be happy to wait, <laughs> wait for him with 8 pentagon squads and 4 mother twos. And if he moves something in there, I'll just LRM the shit out of him, and then, you know, and then move in. So, I don't want to take unnecessary risks, because even though I'm clearly ahead, you know... You could, I could still lose this, theoretically. Lose a Vap T20 with the, with the Commander's Pada, which is of course annoying. Using the smoke offensively here, maybe maybe you learned this in Nick's smoke video, to smoke off this open field and move these up. Not like it did much, because there was nothing to shoot at, but... <laughs> for him to shoot at my Commander's Pada, but... You know, better safe than sorry, I guess. More of these try to murder the KAFV because why not and I think yeah I already figured out like 30 seconds ago or something that he was gonna push here so I bought a 2A1 bought a Gephardt bought some Amex tens. had a tiger here as well to not let him surprise me much because obviously I don't have a lot of stuff here but I am close to the spawn so he would have he would really need to surprise me with the push here in order to be, have a lot or a big effect on it or, or a lot of success um, but I did spot it early enough, so I got some stuff. And obviously his push isn't very big. And at the same time, I'm also trying to get some stuff in here, so he can't really afford to move this stuff over and has to continue defending his CV here, which I am spotting as well. But yeah, I think my last piece run got stunned by this pivot just before it could get the missiles off. So I was a bit too greedy, I should have flown around this area, but yeah. Or maybe bought a seed plane. Although I believe I didn't have one. I believe I had two cards of peace runs and two cards of ASFs in this in this match. And I'm still driving this stuff down here too. Not necessarily to kill stuff, while well, of course this is my hope. Also just to keep him busy so he can't push here very effectively. I'm still ticking of course and I'm, I'll soon be ahead in points. And I'm ramming here because... I don't have anything else to do with it right now and you know there's a small chance I could kill it even if it has two ammo all around. Kill this piece pheasant which is obviously nice. Be a bit too far up with the Gephardt to the nice ninja and his H1T. Try to take, okay this is very good, try to take the fight with his K1 but I'm, I'm moving up by each 90 I know where this is but But uh, being in this, on the one end of this forest, basically blocks <laughs> your line of sight onto the other end. So I want to move up this legion and kill the CV, but they can't get fucking line of sight. It's obviously very annoying. Now here I want to obviously move out with the Gepard to kill the AH1, but then, yeah, the peace fasten snipes it. Still though, I kill this K1. 
Now this is weird. I have line of sight here. To fire at the CV. But die last second. The Legion 90 misses. So that's very un they're very frustrating. But now I believe <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I buy two Gasai piece. Also I'm pushing back into here, but I'm buying two Gasai piece. KWS comes in, snipes the Cobra. Uh, makes the ninja run out of ammo. Ten is out of ammo. So this K1 the Kasai piece first obviously kills the CV. Bam. Now he kills his AA. Now, M36. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. K1 turns around. No, it's driving towards the, the Cassiope. Trying to kill it with the MGs. But a bit too close. And he gives it a move order. Just driving towards here, so the K1 is showing its side and just gets absolutely wrecked by the Kasai P auto cannon. Isn't it beautiful? But yeah, and now kill his piece fast and even snipe his his where is it go? Where is it? Where's the where's the helicopter? Is it there? Yeah, that's it. Let's snipe his helicopter with the C V in there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now he decides to push here. Uh, somehow it matter too to us, I didn't even know how, but yeah, he doesn't really get far. I think a side piece because that's quick. I think he snipes my Crotal later with something. I don't fully remember. Kill his ninja. And yeah. That was like one of the greatest comebacks, if not the greatest comeback that I that I ever had. Okay, yeah, I've been disconnected. Let me restart war game again. Late game, Hero Rush was too late. Yeah, and of course it was too. Uh, You know, it's Cobra, so they have 6 HP, so they don't have the best survivability. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, it's private. Not, not much of a comeback? What do you mean? Oh, the best comeback I ever had still ended with me losing. Uh, I mean, it was kind of similar to... Yeah, let's actually go over this. Um, this one. That 2 versus 2. That's Putin and I played. It's, I wanna let's just go over this very quickly. Not not too much into detail because it just happened very recently. But yeah, and this is also where we nearly made a comeback happen. I don't want to see the nice hog. Yeah, that was very. That was a big oof, very big oof. So of course, or hopefully, if you have seen the video of live video of this, so you know what the plan was. Basically, I push Delta, Putin goes Charlie, and then depending on how it goes for Putin, he's gonna support me in Delta. Just give Rasmus and Leclerc and watch it die in agony. You're not wrong. This is also where the sponging does work better. They also do sponging, but yeah. Kill the Chinook, 
kill that app. Unfortunately, I still lose one app because the Chinook was just a tad closer than the app to my tigers. Uh, if not, I could uh, if I had maneuvered it a bit better, I could have killed the app and then the Chinook and kept both of these tigers alive, which in hindsight could have potentially made a not insignificant not insignificant difference. But yeah, me playing France, of course, against US and Eurocore. Mirage 5F, quite annoying, but didn't really do all too much. But a basic, basically very similar setup. CKM is here with US, I'm here with France. Buzzard is here with Eurocore against Putin's mech. Let's actually, let's actually look at what, what, put, what happens on Putin's side. I'm curious, I've never really taken a look. Most Makarov was correct by the two A4s because his infantry was not in front. So yeah, his main forces, that's, ah, that, that was a problem. He had two, two Murkamas and his main infantry was here, not a, able to sponge against two A4s. Yeah, having the Murkamas out in the open allowed him to get them murdered because Buster had a cover advantage. He spotted the Murkamas without having the two A4s in line of sight, so he could force the Murkawa fire out and then move out with his two force to shoot at the Murkawas without getting taken without taking a shot in return. So these two force that Putin I believe didn't spot caught him fully by surprise. Yeah there's the there's the Nighthawk. <sighs> Such a big oof man. Such a big big oof. Why did I pull the hand back? Because I wanted to keep it alive. Right. Um, Mirage 5 have again. I'm getting out alive. They have like, they have what? 10% ECM? 10%. They get a light alive so often. Kernas coming in. Killing one of the two forms, which is nice because Kernas is fucking retarded. But he, he's moving up with the commandos, which I. Or maybe he wanted to keep line of sight of the, on the two forms, which is why I gave that order. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't have the vehicle support now, which is obviously crucial. And one two a four is still alive. Almost a kind of similar situation here. However, CKM is still too scared to move up. Luckily for me, because I only have Chasseur here, and it's all, I have like one Legion ninety squad here. But he could he could just drive through with his M1 Abramses without issue. I move over to the Tiger to maybe get some damage done. I believe I killed some infantry squads here and something. I think also the Kasabi, so that helped. But in the long run... Yeah, he, he needed the vehicles here. So I got at least something done for Putin with my helicopters. But... You see there's a leopard here, which is obviously the big issue. Again, plane gets out. All my, yeah, all my chasseur here died. I, there's still a Chumat here from Putin, and I have my two MX-40s now. The MX-40s actually worked surprisingly well. I'm not a fan of them, but for one, I'm playing France, so I don't have another choice. But two, against US. US really relies on to kill enemy vehicles. Low AP tanks, like the M1 and M1 IP, and low AP infantry, right? So the only high AP you really see is on the heavies and super heavies. So outside of this M1A2, None of his tanks have significantly, uh, very significant AP, meaning that the low armor on the MX-40 isn't as big of a deal as it usually is. If I was playing against, let's say, on Taunts, you know, where the Padobranzi 90 can one-shot me, and the m 84 as would one-shot me in forests, you know, that's a big issue, but these M1 Abrams won't be able to one-shot me in forests, so that's, they worked surprisingly well. I guess, I guess in hindsight it's not surprising, but they worked well, which they usually don't. Gunner's coming in again. Did he? Does he kill it? He does kill it. All right. Doing some nice work with the Kurnas. So, uh, so Putin is coming back here, which is good. But I'm obviously busy on this side. I did get, I did get control of, of this. Actually, no, I never lost it. I never lost it. I think. I don't. Did I even lose it in the opener? I think I'm, I think I'm confusing this game with the game against General Bulanche right now. Mirage 5F once again just not 
it's just coming and coming and coming. No double entendre intended. Finally killing one of those mirages. With the help of the stinger. And they're doing something nice fire support along my Rima to get once again back in there. And of course his MX-40 is kind of scaring his M1 Abrams as luckily. He's I think luckily for me he was he was incredibly passive with his M1A2. If he had moved his M1A2 like in here or something, when he had control over this, I would have been in so much more trouble. But luckily he just always kept it in the back, which was very very good for us, or for me. Um, and there's a the Gazelle Cannon, because we had no, neither of us bought, pro bought like any base defense until now. In fact, Putin he bought something, but I didn't, I also didn't, didn't even think of it. Just a VLRA mistress here or something would have killed a cannon and would then would have not allowed them to spot our forms. Hold on, when when do they spot our forms? The one in the open is spotted now. And the other one is now. I mean, I guess if I had a VLRA here, I probably could have prevented them from spotting this one. They would have possibly still anticipated it, it to be here, but ah, uh, still. Unnecessary. We could have prevented this, and not not losing our farms would have allowed us, to, for one, Putin to get val continued value out of his LRMs, and two, allowed me to also at some point buy my LRMs and get value out of them. Ah, uh, this is again something very much preventable. So, Mirage F1 CT coming in, nearly getting even killing the M1A2 here. The, the Cluster Bomber has been doing some decent work in that game. Putin has, some, has a nice position, position on the left again. Decides to push a bit with his 5-pointers and Amex 10s. He's actually doing quite an aggressive position here. So that, it, it, like, if you're looking at this from this angle, it doesn't really look bad for us. Like, not at all. Like, not amazing, but like, we're aggressive here. We're aggressive here. Kyler's here now very annoying, preventing me from doing more damage, allowing his Abrams to live. But with the help of only those two MX-40s and in the infantry, I, and of course the planes beforehand, I'm able to, to push back in here, which is really, really good. And with the Tiger Hap and the, MX, the other two MX-40s now getting this down is also nice. But now Fujin was, I wouldn't say a bit too aggressive, but now the reinforcements all came in. And his attack got crushed. Nothing done by my cluster plane. He lost his kernels, unfortunately. Panther is really annoying. But didn't really do much to his K1. Chumati doing some nice work in an MX10 and a like Kyler. Killing his CV actually. Right, I thought um, we saw that I saw that the Patriot was somewhere here, so I pinged here and Putin went for it and actually killed the CV and not the Patriot. <laughs> US doesn't have any wheeled AA, but Eurocore has. I know this is like 10 minutes old or something, this comment by now, but I only just saw it. I How would I know that there's no Krotal coming down there? I'm actually just very curious what happened on this side. There's the M1A2. Out in the open with no cover. Milan 3 gets 2 shots in and the MX-40 finishes it off. So I took cluster here now because it's dead, so I have no target for it anymore. Putin tried to counter Artie. Not all coming in again. I don't think it does much in this run. I think outside of the first run it doesn't really do all too much, but I, yeah, now I kill it. 
Kills a Ronan 3, but it's fine. Direct wave 4. Obviously, an issue for him. K1 had no support and now it gets wrecked by the 2A1. Yeah. Oh, that's very frustrating. Tefas coming in. That's a desperate response, but they're gonna get wrecked by the Rolands and it didn't really do too much. Tiger spots the rifleman. Then gets out alive. And there's a tiger that's gonna it's gonna ruin our potential comeback. But I think at this point we're already getting pushed out again on both sides. But a tiger certainly does not help. And whoops, tiger kills our shit. You know, maybe they shouldn't have killed both farms. And it said it would have, should have allowed the tiger to resupply. <laughs> because now it actually can't really kill the vamp anymore. Unless he actually rolls six hits with all of those. Or five out of six hits with the snap. Then I guess in theory he could. And Pudding got, got pushed out. I'll get pushed out soon as well, I believe. But of course both of us now having to spend micro and resources on this tiger and getting the CV back there while also losing conquest points and not having access to our air spawn. <sighs> this is obviously, yeah, that was basically the final nail in the coffin. I think before that we had the chance, but now it's basically gone. Can't stop this push down here. And yeah. Not quite certain why I decided to send the mech deck to the left. Because in this open area, heavy tanks were more important. Plus the uh, wheel capabilities and helicopters that I had. Especially in Echo. And because it worked for us before as well, in a previous match against Crot and Picuda. Now Putin gets a, you know, quite a deep push into golf, but yeah, we lost mid, we'll lose Echo soon as well. Even then Putin's push isn't very... can't really hold himself there. You know, <laughs> you know. In hindsight, of course, it didn't work out. But it's not because him have, him pushing after me, pushing mid was that was not the issue. It was not the thing that cost us the game. All right. I don't think I don't think it this will work, right? Or game? I have to restart again. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can get a one versus one going. Maybe. No. And Putin, if you're still watching, come come Discord. It's a good idea. Instead of giving us generation reply and people tell us what you think went wrong. From my perspective, obviously the the. 
usually like you know losing to the to the Clares was obviously horrible. I think losing one Leclerc is quote unquote fine, as in like understandable. But even then, my smoke micro should have been better. However, we didn't have the AA to spot the Nighthawk early enough. But uh, me just having them so close together to lose both was just ridiculous. If I had once left life, I could have helped myself still without the need of having to buy those two MX forties. And then the lack of base defense. Good inside, and I don't fully know. I obviously only went over it quickly. But from my perspective, that's what I certainly could have done significantly better. I mean, there was obviously some more minor things here and there, of course. But those are the, the big things. For one, letting them spawn both hops, and then letting the tiger just go ham without any issue. I guess I've tried to go to Discord once in a while. <laughs> it seems like people don't use looking for game channel. You should try the <laughs> my my dis my Discord isn't very good for that. You should check the the bootcamp Discord, which is depending on which time of the day you're looking for a game, usually pretty decent for finding games or just setting up games. Yeah, the bootcamp Discord is generally better. Let me. S I have uh, invite somewhere here, I think. Bootcamp. Yeah, that. Uh, if you were. Actually, hello? YouTube, let me. YouTube, do you not allow me to send. Hold up a sec. There we go. YouTube, please. There we go. <laughs> I think you could have done more on the right. I think my thing, on, my stuff on the right was usually fine. Um, what I did, I think the other issue was that at, at the later points in the game, the lack of pressure that we put on or that I put on mid led to to CKM then being able to invest more on the right, meaning that what I bought there wasn't quite enough anymore. Maybe I could have done more. I didn't pay all too much attention on the right. I think it went all right there, though. Um, I have been trying a trying out a some new combinations in my Eastern Lock deck. So let's see if we can find a game. Rider. Yeah. All the all the Mac and Linux players saved your world. My final message goodbye. It is it is unfortunate that in order to fix this you can't patch Linux and Mac versions, but but I did not just copy Putin's version of the deck. No. However, <laughs> I played two matches against Spidance yesterday and I was using MI-17s or helicopters a bit more than I do usually. <clears throat> Take that as you will. But I did. <laughs> I did. What do you mean balance doesn't count? What do you mean? I 
Hey, I have no idea what you, what you just wrote. So if you could translate that into English, that'd be, that'd be great. I swear, half to one versus one wits. Are you just you bullying balanced? I mean, uh, not not over the past. I think over the past two weeks or so, or three weeks, it's been quite an abundance of Nick the Man videos. I actually, I actually do not quite know what you mean with balance does not count. And while we're waiting, we might as well. And I'm not showing the leg off just yet. Nick got the run. I refuse to upload any of my wins against him. Or three people searching ranked. It's alive, guys. It's alive. But yeah. I want to try some, some different stuff with the Eastern Block. Like the, the main issue that I have with Eastern Block at the moment is the, the the direct fire support. Which isn't just which isn't very efficient. The fact that Wilks like you have Wilks and you have Prams, but Prams are long range and they don't just kill infantry. And the Wilks if you have to rely on Wilks for your fire support, while they're not bad. That's not the main role of Wilkes. You want them to shoot at enemy vehicles mainly and secondly at enemy infantry. Putin is Peter the Great. At least they hit the infantry. What do you mean with that? What what doesn't hit the infantry? Who needs fire support when you have MiG twenty nine bombers? I mean, I, I I believe you're most you're, you're joking, but I think with bombers, at least at least me personally, I don't like having to rely on them for a specific thing. Or planes in general, I'd say outside of ASFs, I don't want to. Rely on planes to do all my infantry killing work. I don't want them to do all my tank killing work. Also, if like maybe a motor deck. Yeah, it was sarcasm. But like sometimes people say that, and I'm not saying they're wrong. But I just personally don't like you know when when, when let's say Commonwealth like F111 C, the best bomber in the game probably for just kill infantry killing purposes, right? And then I wouldn't if, let's say for the sake of the argument. Commonwealth had bad fire support and, and bad infantry, right? Then I'd say, well, how do I deal with infantry? And then someone might say, well, you have the F-111C, what more do you want? And while they're not, while they wouldn't be wrong, planes are just usually more easily counterable than, and also, and thus less consistent than direct fire support. Simple as that, right? And of course more expensive and they have their downtime. So that's why planes, while I probably shoot them use more often in general, I don't like to rely on them that much. Alright, I'll be back in one sec. Also, we got Greyhounds, very epic.
Oakley Doakley. Is it actually Greyhound? It is. Wasn't Greyhound in a chat a while back? He was. Stream. Hold up. Hold up. I hope you enjoy the, the tipping. Oh, it doesn't fully work. No, it's not stream sniping. He's not stream sniping. He may have like stream me queue up, but he's not like he's not like opening the stream to see what I'm doing. I'm very certain. I may have been watching my stream and saw that I queued in ranked and then closed it and and then you know queued up. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, I prefer this over some random low-ranked player, you know? All right, we got this map, which is cool. Cool, 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 cool. Very cool, very nice. You may have already seen some. Interesting choices. Some weird, potentially weird choices, if you want to call it that. And just like that, I'm ready. I don't have quite the points to get the MY17 CV, which might have been nice. Commonwealth is a playable deck. You need to defy some convention deck building. Commonwealth is a more than playable deck. It's certainly better than Red Dragons, but I think it might be, it might be the second worst coalition. However, it is still it is closer to the. Let's call it good coalition, send this to the worst coalition being Red Dragon. But I would still say that most other, every other coalition besides Red Dragon is better. Which, and that is for one versus ones. In team games, Commonwealth gets significantly stronger, I'd say. French service, Chasseur 85. Chasseur 85 have a different role mostly. Than reservists. Uh, Chasseur 85 are usually a, a lot more multi role since they can also deal with vehicles and such. So, if you want your cheap fodder or like quote unquote cheap fodder to also be able to deal with vehicles at times or something, then Chasseur 85 are the other, other choice, but they're not quite interchangeable like base Chasseur and reservists would be. Red Dragon Moto is pretty good. Your definition of pretty good is pretty bad then. Hey -oh. It's a tiger. And that's a... Uh, Rafao? F16? Oh, he's playing land shoot! Or rather... BGZ. Interesting. Okay, I didn't lose either of my helicopters, that's good.
smoke this off. Or sorry, this fire support gun do so much work. Two to a foreign else. It's very interesting. Oh god, it's a fucking four stack. Holy shit! It is a fucking four stack of infantry. So the must still getting wrecked though, so that's great. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't spot my tour, he doesn't spot my tour. Nice, nice. But does anyone here in chat know or play the game Monster Train, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Let's get an LSCR here. Get some more defenses going. SPW80. Dude, these like Apricot are so good. I love them. Love, 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 love them. Keep you smoking, let's get another mortar out. Let's get another scout. I can't quite shoot at the Gepard here. We have supplies on the way. I still do not have supplies on the way. Yes, he, he must have some infantry, some scout there. So that, that spawns my infantry. Or maybe not, I'm confused. He's Ryan. He wants to kill my Madoina. Do I, have an, I do have LSTR on the way, good, very important. Let's also get some... Let's get some of you out there. Dude, these are running out of ammo, that's, that's actually really bad. I just get you in here and you're still circling. I want you to get next to the town. Jeez, you can move you up here. His scabbard is over on this side, I think. So I could get some nice damage done with these. You move over, you can fast move over maybe. Supply truck, I need you to resupply that infantry. Get some beam produce. Okay, I don't want you to be too close to the town because otherwise it'll fuck up with your movement too much. And there's the gap part. I was like, how the fuck does he still have line of sight there? What the fuck? That's not very cash money of you. Oh, you still got out? That's... Ooh, got out. Ooh, that's not good. When resupply those fucking... Did I just kill it? Did I kill it with the ATGM? Oh god, helicopters are fun and balanced, by the way. Helicopters are totally not OP, by the way. Okay, they're finally getting resupplied. That's what I want. Let's get some double motor action going. Yeah. 
Okay. New supply truck. Also get a CV. I have to say, I, in the past, I wasn't really a fan of the Salamandra, but it's. I'm starting to kind of like it. No, 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 no. You move it. Should probably turn on this, turn this on. Skip you on the edge. I want to repair you. Let's move you out there quickly while they're still out in the open. Ah shit, I lost one. I want that. Let's get another, let's get an NCR score for this town as well. No, stay in this building, you idiots! Oh, right, I just noticed that he has reservists. It's interesting. Can you fire, please? Hello? Oh, you're dead now. Let's get an M one M in here. The anti gem could be very useful here. Let's quickly give you a few missiles. Before you run out. In. One of these empty, huh? Yeah. Let's get another scout up. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool. Alright, I'm a bit quiet here because this is actually not the easiest match. We'll see you again. Ooh, that's a stinger squad. Despite this, might be not the wrong moment for this, but is this seed? He did get the ECR. Wow, and I got lucky, I got really lucky. He still has a fucking scout here. This is. and I can't spot it. I'm in. Oh, fucking Christ, dude. It's a scout, yeah, piece of shit. At least one of his fucking scouts. So I don't get punished for this too hard. Get resupplied. Fire! 
You're still alive? Piece of shit. Supply you. That's his two for an else. When I resupply the motor, as you can see, my power is already fairly low, and I don't think I can spend the points on that. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna get killed by this fucking motor too here because too too much of a moron to pay attention to this. Oh no, there's Amex 13s. Do not like those. Get these for the 20 RPM. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, no. F oh, there was a side shot even. Fuck. Oh, absolutely bad. Come on, each angle? Fucking one angle. It was badly played by me. It's horribly played, but I think I'm gonna get two M1 works here instead. It's what you get when you have when you have to play around this area where where you have no cover and you smoke up your you smoke up you fuck up your smoke micro. There's a maxes. Oh no, no, you're just a bit too far away. God damn it. Okay, that's two, two, four nails. I will see you. So up again? Or up still? Up again? Really? What? It was fast? Nice Gephardt. Don't, 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 don't. Are you kidding me? Before he double taps me, he doesn't. He crits me though, the tiger might kill me. Okay, I get out alive. Stay in there, please. Two escorts. Oof. Spicy. Very spicy, what are my helicopters coming? Should make use of this. Let's get another CV so we can continue to bleed. He still has his... He still has his tiger up. Okay, supply trucks. 
in here. This is Tiger. I'm at 24p. You're a bit too slow, I think. Well, so you're, you're faster than a tiger, though, but I don't know what the AA he has there. And now I lost line of sight. Great. I hit him, okay. I killed this tiger. That's, a, that's an okay trade. I had this ammo 24p from the start, so. Trade that I can live with. You stay in the back so we can maybe make better use of your thingy. You unload. Okay. Let's get another mortar before we run out of that one. Keep firing in there. MS 17s, MS 17s. We have Stinger in there, huh? Let's get a bomber next, honestly. Supply you have signed to run out of fob. That was not happened very often to me, I can tell you that. So many eclats, only one hit, unfortunate. Didn't quite hit him with my bombs, which is unfortunate. I forgot to turn off ammo, I'll turn on ammo, that's why he has no ammo. Peace Ryan is trying to snipe my... Tor. Yeah, I should have moved it up way earlier. I, would, I knew the whole time it was spotted, but I was like, What's he gonna do? Get a piece, Ryan? Get another bomber. Did I only buy one squad? You're a bit too far. Nice! And that's a 1, 2, 4, and L dead. You go for those aim axes. Assuming you can hit them. Jesus Christ! And now he's now it's in a fucking bush. And now I have no eighty gems left. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yikes! Yeah, yeah, yikes! Get my list here because these are 
out of missiles. We got hit by a stinger. Is, are you out of fuel? Oh no. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I have returned. Oh, what's that? A hawk? Ooh, these Amex 13s are quite, quite annoying. But I bet so are my Sokols. Yeah, yeah, this isn't a replay, I know. <laughs> Should probably do something with these. Probably move one of my fucking tanks over there so I can actually deal with those things more effectively. It's keeping you here actually because you have low ammo. I forgot I had a Lazur in the stack. I thought I put it out, that's why I never bought it to get it for a tiger. I didn't need it, but I never thought, hey, let's get a Lazur for a tiger because I thought I didn't have one. In this tank. Turns out I had one all along. Detract. It's detracted. It's fucking detracted down here. What the fuck? Holy shit. Are you fucking. Shitting me? And he killed me with his fucking seed. Are you shitting me double twice and back and forth and over under and holy cry holy Christ dude? Oh, hello, 204. What, 20 AP? I have one Eggler, bitch. I feel like I'm okay with the ASUs. They're not good. Ooh. They're not great, you know, but they're good enough. Obviously, I'd like I'd like something better, but they're good enough. They only have six RPM for HE, by the way. In case you didn't know, I mention this all the time when I talk about this unit, but only the AP gun actually has eight RPM. 
The AG gun only is 6. Don't ask me why. Actually, I can tell you why. Eugene wanted to nerf it, I think, to 6, but only nerfed one of it to 6 or something for no reason whatsoever. I mean, with no reason, I mean, they probably just forgot to nerf the other gun or something. <laughs> why? Fuck you. <laughs> Do you think you need another front? You know, maybe. But I think usually also I don't expect you... I should probably micro my ATGMs a lot more. Oh, I forgot I had these. I should micro these a lot more, I think. So I don't waste them as much. But I think I also... It's only empty because I got so much... So much value out of them. Out of my helicopters. Was this his main? Uh, oh god, so many, so many natres, natres. Lekka, 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 lekka. Salamon Troya did kill the Gepard. Am I 24p? Kill the piece, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Actually, it also works pretty well with the, the fight, the fight that's 4 HP is not a big deal. Because, like, many ground AA pieces have 7 HP. Of course, if that hits and an LSTR hits, with both, with both, while both having 4 HE, it's kind of annoying. Dude, this LSTR. Big 29 did a lot of work. I did kill his hog with the... The howitzer didn't do a whole lot. I think it's because I was mostly... I didn't really get a lot of sight on these units. Like line of sight. Delica Pirola did some nice work. They're so good, man. I like them so much. <laughs> You're a pro player. Why do you need RT? Hold up, where's the MiG-29? The, hold up, let's take a quick look at the 204 now. Did you play Slay? Sorry, if you're, if you're sitting here. Yes, I did play Slay the Spire. At first glance, it looks very similar, but it's actually quite quite different some some stuff still applies but uh, i think it helps if you know slate aspire spire or like if you played it a bit and you know the whole deck thinning and all that and getting combos to work it's like very similar but it's also you 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 your deck gets out of control so much faster Oh, so you get down to 6 HP. 4 HP, sorry. Take 6 damage is what I meant. Oh, I got one hit onto the Gephardt. Oh, if I had... I just... Oh, and the, the second shot missed on the Gephardt. If I had killed it... Jesus. They're still tripping. Oh, they were out in the open for a bit. That's why they got... I was like, how the hell did I win that fight against four squads or still to rip them? It's because they got fucked because they were out in the open for a bit. That's so unlucky for him. Holy shit. Oof, it must have been annoying. It would have would have made me rage, that's for sure. He's so sad, man. They were quite annoying, I, I tell ya. Whoever has it is the best Germany. <laughs> Gephardt. Good old AA getting killed by helicopters. Isn't that fun? The loss of the modernity was kind of annoying, but I just played it bad. Should have 
put a big smoke wall up there and moved it onto this side. Especially because I saw his 2 4 nails moved there, I should have rooted it to that area a lot sooner. It was a bad play, a really bad play. I was really hoping to get uh, one of those two or four nails here when he pushed up into my rocket pot helos. Barely get this fucking tiger. Mind you, amount of helos. I actually never had a lot of helos. I mean, a lot is relative. But they just survived for so long. It took so long. I, yeah, I bought, I think, in total, four squads of Le Capirota and MS-17, if I'm not wrong. And I had another... And one more. I think I, think I had, like, five MS-17s in total throughout the game. One Salamandra and, I believe, two MS-24Ps. And he took so long to kill the MS-17s. They just made so many runs back to the farm. I think I had the same Salamander throughout the whole game. I think I never bought a second one, if I'm not wrong. Bam, side shot. Oof. Despite having the Stinger, he struggled a lot with dealing them. I think ran out of ammo. Kiloman, yeah. It must have died to the flames, right? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. I was like, no way does it get out of out alive there. Come on. That'd be bullshit. Really surprised at ECR. I was actually talking with someone about it just like two or three days ago, but I personally don't like it. But at the same time, for one versus one, but at the same time I've never run it, and I guess you can kind of use it as like a really high ECM, medium, medium stealth, you know, similarly to the Raven, except you have worse stealth and worse ECM, but like, if you can protect your peace shrines with that thing, you can get also, obviously, so much more value out of it, so, you know, and you have your tiger to work around, so there's, still, there's, there's kind of a place for that, even though I'm not a fan. In any case, I'm already ending the stream here because I have some stuff to do actually that came up which is also why there were these frequent interruptions so sorry for that ECR takes ages to reload yeah that's true but it has the same missiles as, as a raven so it takes just as long I believe right it does have the same missiles 20 HP uh, 20 AP I think 65 percent accuracy and 52 50 meter range Yeah, same as hell. Also, there's exceptional air detection, which I guess is kind of useful. So you can spot enemy ASFs coming in. I think the timing or target in this case might also be nothing not to... Nothing you should underestimate. But yeah, only, only three hour stream today. Usually I try to do four hours or hit four hours. But yeah, something came up. Hope you still enjoyed it. Um, even though I was clickbaiting and the last game was actually not a cast, how dare I? I expect some more Eastern block. I did consider maybe running mod shoots in 90 because while they're not great, they're not really horrible. However, I believe having these specialty at not keys in the ground transport is enough for heavy ish anti tank weaponry outside of LSTR. And in, I, in this game, I think I never even bought them, but I'm not sure. What I should run instead. Or maybe instead of these, I should run the BMP2 with the Conqueror's M. But it's 35 points. The other thing is 40? Yeah, that's 40. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you still enjoy the stream. And uh, yeah, next video on Thursday as usual. And yeah, hopefully. See you then.